Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show some magic tricks with using water. You're gonna be so surprised. Momo already did some magic tricks with me. Momo, how were they? Those were so awesome! I was so surprised! Are you ready to see this magic tricks? Then let's get dirty. Have you ever wished your drawings would come alive and the stick figures or objects on your paper could move around? It's not as impossible as it sounds. In this activity, you will make your drawing move around by letting it float on the water. All you need to prepare is white plate with smooth surface, dry erase markers, and water. Choose one color of your dry erase marker and make a drawing on your plate, such as stick figures or hearts. After that, let it dry for a couple of seconds. Pour enough water onto your plate to cover the drawing. Does your drawing begin to float and come to life? If nothing happens, Shake the plate a little bit. Wow, look at that! It seems like they're playing each other in the swimming pool, doesn't it? Do you know why drawings float in the water? Dry erase markers are made of alcohol, color pigment, and release agent. To put it simply, alcohol plus oil paint. So alcohol quickly evaporates and oil paint doesn't mix with water. So if you pour the water on the plate, the drawings float. You can do extra activities such as make drawings with different colors of the dry erase marker. Do all of them behave the same way or are they different? Which color floats best? Another extra activity is that before pouring water, try to erase the drawing with your finger. Can you erase it? and what's on your finger. The last extra activity that I recommend is trying to pick up your drawing from the water surface with your fingers. What happens to it when you pull it out of the water? What do you think the material you now have in your hand is made of? The second science magic trick is Magical Blooming Water Blossoms How to make blooming paper flowers all you have to prepare is a thin paper and markers for drawing flowers, an origami paper that you have, and scissors, and water in the plate. Draw your flower design on the paper. Draw out a circle and draw some patterns of the flower around the circle. Next, I'm going to color in the flower using some markers. You can also use coloring pencils. When you're done, use a scissor to cut the flowers out. Next, we need to fold each petals over into the middle of the flower. And that's our flowers ready to use. Cut the origami paper into a square shape and fold each of the corner of the square inward. Place the flowers in water. As you can see, it magically opens up and starts to bloom. Pretty cool, huh? I've speeded the video up here to make it a bit faster because it did take over a minute to open. Put some origami papers on the surface of the water. Did you find the difference between putting paper flowers in water and origami flowers in water? Yes, they are a bit slowly open than paper flowers. There are lots of different types of origami papers. At first, I used dual paper which had a pattern on the top and 13 color on the bottom. The 
The side of collar was smooth and not wet easily. So I used the common type of origami paper that is colored on one side and white on the bottom. And also, I wondered if the opening period depends on the folding weight, so I folded some flowers differently. And I placed one duo origami paper and one sided origami paper on the water at the same time. Can you see which one bloomed faster? Do you know why the petals that were folded open when they touch the water? It's because paper is made of fibers of cellulose from wood pulp. When you fold it the paper, you squeeze the fibers, compacting them on the inside of the fold. As water sucked into the paper, it caused the squeezed fibers in the paper to expand. The swelling fibers push outwards, unfolding the paper. The origami papers overlap the mark didn't bloom well. The last science magic trick is leak proof bag. All you need is zipper bag, water, and pencils. Start by sharpening the pencils. Make sure the tips are sharpened to a point. First, fill the bag one half full with water and then seal the bag closed. Once you seal the bag, what do you think is going to happen when we poke pencil through? Do you think it will burst the bag and water will go everywhere? Push the pencil through the bag. That's one pencil you can see clearly inside the bag. And here it comes the other side and no water anywhere to be seen. So what's happening? Well, the bag is made out of plastic and plastic made out of polymers. Polymers are chain of molecules which are flexible and tough. What happens when you poke the pencil through is the plastic hugs around the sides of the pencil, creating a watertight seal preventing any of the water from leaking out of the bag. I also can draw a dartboard on a zipper bag to the dark game with using pencils or skewers. Did you enjoy my video? Yay! If you want to see more videos, please take a look at my channel, Hey Kids! <laughs> and please click the subscribe and like button, please. And see you with another activities. Okay, till then, stay safe and bye!